Hello and welcome on Watches TV and for, for those of you who have been following us for quite some years, well you knew that I had a lot of appreciation for Parmigiani Fleurier, but over the years I got maybe a little bit tired of it and then suddenly some kind of magic happened when you arrived and you've just revamped and revived this brand in just a matter of months and that a fantastic job. Okay, it sounds like I'm being very, uh, how do you say, positive, but you know I always am. So please tell us, what is this magic? What did you bring in with you? Well, uh, we, we redefined the, the codes of the brand and uh, we refreshed them, bringing them to life. They were all there. Yeah. I didn't, they were all ingredients that we used in a different way. And the Tonda PF is, uh, if you want, uh, the outcome of its exercise, which is extremely introspective, very deep, and uh, that has been done um, with the same team that was there before. So I'm very proud of what we did. The initial, I mean, Tonda 1950, for me, was a piece that was uh, in their collection, extremely well balanced. There was a question of, you know, re proportions that were really working together, but there was a few things that sometimes didn't work for me. That's very personal. So you, did you keep that same soul, that same spirit from these uh, uh, proportions that were there from the start? No, I didn't look at the 1950. It was not that the the origin, uh, although the the movement was already introduced yeah. through that. Uh, but I think you have to understand that uh, the the brand was born 25 years ago, and and society, the way we live, uh, changed. No, and now it's a completely decontracted way of wearing. But that doesn't mean that if you're not formal, you're not elegant. Mm -hmm. So it's how can I interpret this impeccable informality, if you want, uh, uh, of today in a fresh way and to interest a public which today is making uh, the industry, which is a, a gentleman in its 30s or in his 40s that wants something non-mainstream, refined, uh, uh, with, uh, with discretion. Well, thank you for this insight. And uh, now coming to the timepieces that you are uh, presenting here, what are kind of the, the main uh, new uh, watches? We came up with this world premiere idea to to have a, a dual time with a push button at 8 o'clock because it's so comfortable as a position, but it's also so beautiful inside the lug of the Tonda. It's perfectly aesthetically and technically. And so you, through that split button, you separate your, your hand from the hometown time and uh, and then uh, with the, the innovation is that in all the centuries of watchmaking nobody ever thought of using a rattrapante function outside a chronograph mm -hmm. uh, and it's the most intuitive thing for a GMT because when you want to go back home you want to go it at the as fast as possible so yeah. you just press it at, at the monopossoir at, uh, at, at, um, at in the crown and in a blink of an eye you reunite your two hands and why this? Because uh, when you tra I travel a lot, before COVID is what, 30% of my time I was abroad. The other 70% of my time I'm, I'm at home. I just wanted a, a two-hand two, two watch, very, very pure, not disturbed by 24-hour indication, not disturbed by a dot to tell me if it's day or night. I, I look at the window if it's day <laughs> or night. No? So it's purity at the maximum level. And uh, does it come in different variants? Uh? No, one, uh, one thing. One variant. Just For the time being? or We'll see. As, okay. as I said, there's no need to do many things on the same stuff. I think uh, it's important to, to, uh, to, to have an identity in what you do. You know? okay. That's why we didn't do it. Uh, we didn't do a blue dial on the micro auto. Everybody was asking that to us. Uh, and I think you have the same nuance uh, of a blue dial over the micro auto, but instead of the micro auto, you have a, a GMT. And uh, the bracelet has become a feature in itself of yes. this watch. Uh, can you give us a little bit more detail? I'm obsessed with uh, flexible <laughs> bracelets. To me, it's like a, a tailor made suit uh, that follows your body. A bracelet has to follow the wrist, it's not the wrist has to adapt to the bracelet. So mm -hmm. that's why it is so comfortable. And and it's part of this approach of great details, great uh, understanding of how effort, effortless uh, a watch has to be on your wrist because you have it all the time and you have to forget that you have it on. That's true. Well said. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, best of luck with everything else that is going on uh, at Parmigiani. Thank you. Thank you very much.